Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about uh, newly released Create React App 2.0. It's been a long awaited version because the Create React App, uh, which is actually a nothing but uh, CLI for React, just like Angular has CLI, uh, Ember has CLI, React has CLI called Create React App. And the version, which was 1.0 previously, uh, was quite old because the Webpack was old, the Babel was old, and Jess was not upgraded. Uh, so if you wanted to build a professional product, instead of using Create React App, a lot of people were building their own project, which, which requires a little bit of skill and uh, work, right? Uh, even me, you know, uh, I was kind of skeptical of it. Um, but now I think uh, they have listened and uh, they have released this cool version with lots of features and it's much faster. We're going to look at if you are starting a new project, why you should use this to create a, a project in React. If you are already using an older version, how to actually upgrade it to this, uh, this particular version. And overall, what are the benefits? Uh, what are the cool things that are bringing in uh, in React? Uh, so welcome uh, to Texture Tutorials. All right, so there are three major changes um, in the newer Create React app. The first of all, the Babel version was upgraded to, to version 7. The Webpack version was upgraded to 4.0. And then Jest uh, was upgraded to 2.0. 23 actually I believe if you want to create a brand new app you first have to upgrade to a latest version of node okay so now let's install the the latest version of create react app now that we have the the latest version of node installed uh, so for to do that I would do and install dash G because you want to install it globally uh, create uh, react app now this would uh, install latest version which is fine. Uh, it will be something two point something. Uh, I just installed, which is 2.0.3, but it would install, if you don't provide a specific version, it would install the, the latest version, which is fine. And you can check which versions install. You can do uh, create uh, react app uh, dash capital V, and you can see it's 2.0.3. Okay, now let's create a project using uh, this version. So I would say create a React app, and I'm just gonna say happy uh, face because uh, when, I, when I have this version installed, I'm happy. So happy face. And it will take few, a few minutes to install, so be patient. Okay, so now that it's installed, I can do CD happy face and I'm inside and if I look at the project let's look at the package.json to start with um, you will see react version 16.5.2 you'll you can see you might see different depends on when you install this but the most importantly uh, react script this should be 2.0 plus okay uh, this is what makes the the react uh, create react app 2.0 you will also notice that uh, the browser support wise by default it doesn't support 11 and later uh, you have to enable it by default it doesn't support so if this is something that you want it supported then you need to configure it accordingly okay but i'm assuming that most of people don't really care about uh, 11 or before i.e 11 or before Okay, so what if you, I have already a project that, that was built in a previous uh, Create React app? Uh, I can actually upgrade it. Uh, all I have to do here is, I would say npm install dash dash uh, save dash dash save dash exact. And I need to provide the version of uh, the Create uh, React script. Remember I said I have to upgrade the script version right um, so I'm gonna move it to zero point and you can you can do whichever you like but this would actually upgrade your project okay. but make sure that once you do that you need to also change the version of node because 
you might be running on an older version of node so you need to upgrade it before you can compile the project okay so now let's go through some of the changes um, as i said it has a babel 7 so it has a lot of uh, the new polyfills um, so a lot of uh, es 2016 feature are already there uh, the webpack 4 is very fast so you will see it's your project is much faster it also has uh, support for fragments a full support uh, previously that wasn't the case so for example um, if i go to the source file and look at the app.js and right now i have a one uh, element which is at the root level right this day with class name uh, app now if i want to have a, a second div here uh, previously i could not have it so i'm just going to say second div right uh, previously react wasn't supporting multiple uh, uh, parent div right so now you could do it obviously this is still not supported but what you can do is you can wrap it this with an empty tag okay and that should fix it so if i do npm start all right so i have it compiled and as you can see yes it has this second div at the bottom because i put it all the way at the bottom so i can see it here at the bottom so it's coming up uh, you can also use uh, the fragments if you want to know more about the fragments i have a tutorial on it uh, you can check it out i'll provide a link here uh, if you don't want to use this ugly empty tag and the second uh, feature that it added was uh, support for SAS. Um, before, if I wanted to support SAS, I would have to go and eject the project. And then I would have to change the configuration of Webpack to support uh, SAS. But now all I, all I can simply do is um, I can take the CSS file and change its name. to S, S C S S. Okay. And uh, that should also change the import automatically. Also, the problem is you might have to install the node SAS. So I thought they would it would come with it, but somehow you still have to do it. So do npm install uh, node uh, SAS dash dash save and it should install it all right so if i compile it it works uh, but if i want to see if it really works i can just go here and for example um, let's say i have this app and i have app head header right so app header is actually inside app so if you know sas i can simply take the app header and put it inside app which is a syntax of um, SAS it would work and if I want to look at the CSS I can see here that app header is app and under app is the app header which we just changed. another co cool feature is uh, now you can have SVG as react components so for example uh, when you create uh, um, a default app you would have this logo.svg which is you know just an svg and then you have to import it like like this you import logo and then you have to uh, set it as an image um, okay and then source should be logo right but instead now you can actually change this to a component so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this as a JS file. And if I want to create a, a functional component, I would have to import uh, React from React. And then I would create a, a component called logo equal to let's use an arrow function 
and then I have to return some JSX and I'm just gonna put this SVG, SVG here okay let's format this and then I have to export this so I will say export uh, default logo okay and inside the app.js instead of importing this I'm just gonna comment this out and I would say import and I have to import capital logo now it's a component so I cannot have lowercase uh, from logo okay and then I can remove this image completely instead I can use that component logo okay and if I compile it now it should work the same as before uh, there are lots of other changes but uh, just to show you some of them and uh, just give you a glimpse of, uh, of it uh, you can use a lot of cool things and so I would recommend using now uh, create react app to create your projects and I hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you did please like subscribe don't forget to like uh, like subscribe and provide a nice comment and you can also uh, help me on the patreon I'll provide a link here and you can also translate this uh, video for me uh, to your native language so people from your country also uh, can learn. Uh, it's very easy and uh, I'll provide the instruction in the description. And if you do decide to translate, let me know so I'll give you a, a credit in the next video. And thank you.